Good evening everyone, Random Canuck here. Okay, so I wasn't planning on doing a video today, uh, but the Edmonton Oil Kings, uh, these guys right here, have made two uh, big trades today. Um, if it was just the one trade, I don't think I would have done a video on it because it doesn't surprise me. But the second one that just happened about uh, 12 minutes ago, the Edmonton Oil Kings have acquired uh, 2002 born forward Noah Boyko and a 2023 third round pick and a conditional 2026 third round pick in exchange for 2002 born forward Jackson Weeb and a conditional 2026 eighth round draft pick. That's right, the Edmonton Oil Kings have traded Jackson Weeb to the Prince George Cougars for Noah Boyko and two draft picks. Uh, also, they have traded, uh, this was earlier in the day, uh, the Oil Kings have traded Carson Golder and a 2023 third round pick to the Kelowna Rockets in exchange for Rylan Kovacinic, a forward. Sorry, I have not heard of this player before. Uh, so the Oil Kings, after kind of winning a little bit, decided, you know, I think we should trade two more of our best players. And uh, yeah, this is the first one doesn't surprise me. The second one does. Like, Noah Boyko, that's, I'm pretty sure that's a very good player to get from the Prince George Cougars. Um, so the Edmonton, this is from the trade that just happened. The Edmonton Oil Kings have acquired forward Noah Boyko, a, two, a 2023 third-round draft pick and a conditional 2026 third-round pick. Also, sorry about the lighting. This is just really bad lighting we have here in my bedroom, so total apologies. Um... And uh, yeah, Jackson in exchange for Jackson Weeb and a conditional 2026 eighth round draft pick. Boyko, who is 20, is from Fort Saskatchewan, so just up the road from where I am, uh, has appeared in 22 games this season with the Cougars registering 10 points, five goals, five assists, four penalty minutes, and a plus one, uh, plus minus rating. Uh, we are happy to welcome Noah into our organization, uh, President of Hockey Operations GM Kurt. Uh, Kurt Hill. It's always nice when you have the ability to add local players to your lineup uh, who are familiar with the city and the club. Noah is a former first round pick in the WHL and has a lot of offensive ability to his game. Well, only 10 points in 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 22 games. I wouldn't really call that offensive uh, ability, uh, or sorry, I wouldn't really call that um, a lot of offensive ability. I mean, he has. He's, he's a very good player. He's a 20-year-old. I'm surprised the Cougars did this. Uh, so if they move out a 20-year-old, they're probably trying to get another 20-year-old or something like that. Um, uh, the GM of the Oil Kings says uh, he will be asked to provide leadership to our younger group of players who will help provide offense in our power play and even strength. We look forward to having Noah in our lineup Wednesday night against the Saskatoon Blades. Uh, he's six foot one, one hundred ninety pound forward. Was originally drafted by the Lethbridge Hurricanes uh, in the first round, sixteenth overall in the twenty seventeen WHL draft. In his WHL career, Noah Boyko has played one hundred ninety seven games and put up ninety four points, forty eight goals, and forty six assists, sixty two penalty minutes, and a nine and a minus nine uh, rating as a member of the Lethbridge Hurricanes, Saskatoon Blades, and the Prince George Cougars. So this is his fourth. WHL team. In 2017, he helped uh, lead the under-15 AAA Fort Saskatchewan Rangers to the Alberta Major Bantam Hockey League Championship after tallying 52 points, 25 goals, and 27 assists in 33 regular season games, and an additional 18 points, 7 goals, 11 assists in 14 postseason contests. Uh, Jackson Weeb, who is a, also a 20-year-old, uh, was in his second season uh, with the Oil Kings after being acquired from the Red Deer Rebels in the summer of 2021. Uh, in six games this year, he has four points, three goals, one assist, 32 penalty minutes, and an even plus-minus rating. Uh, originally drafted by the Red Deer Rebels in the seventh round, 141st overall of the 2017 WHL draft, so the same draft that uh, Noah Boyko was picked. Um, uh, yeah, has gone to suit up uh, for 130 WHL games, scoring 60 points, 22 goals, um, sorry, 22 goals, 38 assists, to go along with a 225 penalty minutes and a plus eight rating. Last season, he played 13 postseason games 
and added eight points, two goals, six assists for the Oil Kings and route to the team capturing the 2022 WHL Championship. Um, at the 2000 or 2022 Memorial Cup, he was tied for the team lead in scoring with four points, three goals, one assist in three games. Um, so I'm just going to stop there. Um, I, I'm not surprised. I'm actually more surprised by this trade uh, than the Carson Golder trade. So let's talk about that now. So the Oil Kings acquire Rylan Kovinik. Kovinik? I'm sure I butchered that name. I apologize. He's a 2004-born forward. Uh, he's from the Kelowna Rockets in exchange for Carson Golder and a 2023 third-round pick. Uh, so this is a younger player. Uh, Kovinik, or Kovic is 18. Is a, He's from Kelowna, B.C., and has appeared in 20 games this season with the Rockets, registering 9 points, 5 goals, 4 assists, 31 penalty minutes, and a minus 5 plus minus rating. Uh, we are very excited to welcome Ryland to our core group of young players, said Oil Kings President of Hockey Operations and General Manager Kurt Hill. It's difficult to acquire players in transition or transactions involving 20-year-olds, so having the opportunity to add an 18-year-old with a lot of upside uh, to our lineup was very attractive to our club. Uh, his 200-foot game offensive upside uh, will and will to compete every night has made him a good fit as a player to add in our group. Uh, the 5'11", 180-pound winger was originally drafted by the Kelowna Rockets in the 10th round of 204th overall in the 2019 WHL draft. In 77 career games in the WHL, he has 16 points, 8 goals, 8 assists, 115 penalty minutes, and a minus 13 plus minus rating. Ooh, that's, ugh. I don't know how that's going to improve here in Edmonton, but we'll see. Uh, Carson Golder, 20-year-old, appeared in 70 games as an Oil King after being acquired from the Victoria Royals in the summer of 2021. Uh, during his tenure in Edmonton, he tallied 27 points, 11 goals, 16 assists, and a plus two minus rating, or a plus two plus minus rating and 38 penalty minutes. Uh, Golder provided to be a versatile player for the Oil Kings last year and a key contributor to their 2022 championship run. After starting the season as a defenseman, he lined up as a forward for most of last year's playoffs and would go on to lead the WHL championship series in scoring with six goals, or sorry, six points, one goal, five assists uh, in six games. So, it, uh, tough day for the Oil Kings. I'm just going to take a look here and see where the Oil Kings are in the standings because I know they weren't last overall, but you know with it with these straight now with now Carson Golder out and moving out um um oh geez Carson Golder and um and 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 Jackson Weeb that's that takes out a big punch of your offense it it really truly does uh so looking at the standings right now in the conference the Edmonton Oil Kings sit last so they're last again at 4 and 20 um let me just see. Yeah, they're four and twenty. Uh, second last is Brandon, eight and fifteen. Who, by the way, fired uh, their head coach this morning, so their their uh, GM now takes over. Uh, let me just talk about that real quick here because I did have the link for it. Uh, yeah, so this was from early this morning, uh, right when I got up, because uh, this was fr so. The uh, Brandon Wheat Kings have announced that they are making a coaching change, parting ways with current head coach John, Don McGilvery. Uh, current Wheat Kings general manager Marty Murray will assume coaching duties moving forward. So, um, I don't. I'm. I, I. I'm. I'm surprised, but I understand why Brandon would do this. I mean, they're second worst in the conference next to Edmonton. They've only won eight times this year. They're eight fifteen two and zero oh for eighteen points. And the Oil Kings are 420, 420, like 2 0, one loss, one overtime loss, and nine points. So it's an 18 point gap, but um, still, or a nine point gap. No, is it nine or 18? Either way, sorry, I'm bad at math. Um, by the way, I'm going to be doing a video here soon once every team has played about 25 games. I'm not going to wait till Christmas uh, because teams are getting really, ha have played either 25 games or are getting close to 25 games. Teams who have played 25 games so far are uh, Winnipeg, Red Deer, Lethbridge, Prince Albert, Medicine Hat, Brandon, and Edmonton. So 
Uh, once other teams get to the 25 mark or just past it, once every te- basically once every team has played at least 25 games, I'm going to be doing a video on updating what how I feel. I'm not going to wait to the Christmas holidays because I'm going to be busy. Uh, and also, I'm, 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 unfortunately, I'm, I just haven't kept track of the AJHL. So unfortunately, I'm, I, I can't c- cover the AJHL right now. I've been to one Sherwood Park game. Um, it, life has just been too crazy busy. So uh, moving on from that, I just want to get to the actual standings. Uh, if I can, so I'm just going to the official WHL site here. Here we go, standings. And if I look at the overall standings, uh, the worst team in the league is Victoria at three seventeen and three with nine points. Spokane at twenty one at four sixteen zero and one with nine points, and then Edmonton at four twenty two zero one and zero at nine points. So. Three teams tied at nine points for last place overall. Edmonton, Spokane, and Victoria. Victoria being last overall because they only have three wins this season. So tough season on the island for Victoria, but I am not surprised. They are a young and rebuilding team too. Uh, Though not surprised by that. Excuse me. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, So big two trades for the Oil Kings. Um... You know, I kind of feel for I feel for Noah Boyko. I mean, the Cougars are doing really well this year, and now he's got to uh, come to Edmonton and know he's not going to make the playoffs and stuff like that. So that's tough. But you know, maybe he just kind of thought, well, you know, I'll come home to Edmonton and finish off my WHL career there. Maybe Edmonton trades him at the trade deadline. Who knows? But Edmonton's got a, made a lot of trades. I think they've been the most active team. Uh, in the WHL this season as far as trades go. With all these trades being made now, especially the two today, I, I don't see Edmonton being that active in the trade deadline. I'm not too, I'm not really too sure. I, I, I mean, they may, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if they'll trade uh, Colby Hay, the goaltender. I doubt it, but I'm wondering if that's the next domino to fall. Um, who knows? We'll see. Anyways, this has been the Random Canuck. We'll talk to you guys later. Uh, Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about uh, the NFL and where teams sit in uh, the season after 12 weeks. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.